Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you a couple of shortcuts that are very useful inside of GarageBand. So the first one is split, which is command T. So if I set the cursor at a specific location and then I click on command T, it splits the region. So I can do it again, command T. The next shortcut is undo, which is command Z. The other one is Command K, which opens the musical typing if you don't have a MIDI keyboard. If you click on Y, it opens the library. If you click on B, it opens the smart control for the track selected. If you click on E, it's going to open the editor for the track selected too. If you click on O, it opens the loop library. If you click on R, it's going to start recording. So here I have an audio track that I'm going to delete and I'm going to click on R and it starts recording. So if you know how to freestyle, you can drop something, hey, you can drop something, you can drop a like and you can subscribe. Hey. If you click on A, it toggles the automation, so you can write some random automation if you want to. If you click on S, it's going to solo the track selected. So if I click on Melody and S, it's going to solo the track. You can do the same thing for another track. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching the video. If you want, you can download the PDF file for all of the shortcuts on the website, garageband101.com. All you have to do is either click on blog or you just scroll all the way down until you click on this article, save major time with GarageBand shortcuts, and you can download the PDF there. Thank you very much and see you in another video. Bye.